We're so happy that you chose to invite Edward to Norland. He's a dear boy. We're all very fond of him. We have great hopes for him. Much is expected of him by our mother with regard to his profession. Naturally. And in marriage. She's determined that both he and Robert will marry well. Of course. But I hope she desires them to marry for love. Love is all very well, but... Unfortunately, we cannot always rely on the heart to lead us in the most suitable directions. You see, my dear Mrs. Dashwood, Edward is entirely the kind of compassionate person upon whom penniless women can prey. And having entered into any understanding, he would never go back on his word. He is simply incapable of doing so. But it would lead to his ruin. I worry for him, sir, Mrs. Dashwood. My mother has always made it perfectly plain that she will withdraw all financial support from Edward should he choose to plant his affections in less exalted ground than he deserves. I understand you perfectly. To Devonshire? My cousin, Sir John Middleton, has offered us a small house on his estate. Sir John Middleton? What is his situation? He must be a man of some property. He is a widower. He lives with his mother-in-law at Barton Park at his Barton Cottage that he offers us. Oh, a cottage! How charming. A little cottage is always very snug. But you will not leave before the summer. My dear Edward, we can no longer trespass upon your sister's goodwill. We must leave as soon as possible. You will come to stay with us, Edward. I, I should like that very much. Edward has long been expected in town by our mother. Come as soon as you can, Edward. Remember, you're always welcome. Take him with you. We cannot possibly afford him. Perhaps he could make himself useful in the kitchen. Forgive me. Miss Dashwood. Helena. I'm going to speak to you. There is something of great importance that I need to uh, tell you about my uh, education. Your education? Yes. It, it was conducted, um, uh, oddly enough, in Plymouth. Indeed. Yes. Do you know it? Plymouth. Yes. No. Oh. Well, I was four years there um, in a school uh, run by Mr. Pratt. Pratt. Precisely, yes. Pratt. And uh, while I was there, that is to say, he, ha he had a... has a... Um, a You're needed in London this instant. I'm leaving this afternoon as it is. No, no, that will not do. Mama is quite adamant you should leave at once. Oh, no. 